100 pounds. That's what this young woman lost after struggling with her weight for years. And guess what? She's not done. Today on Dove Arbor Life, we're going to learn how she did it, what she needs to do now to keep it off, and the real difference between being obese versus overweight. And if you're like the million of us who've tried a diet or two in your lifetime, you may have come across the one that has you avoiding the carbs at all costs. Turns out you may not have to. Coming up, we give you the skinny on certain carbs and learn how some may actually help you lose weight. Even fast food can be healthy. Yeah, you heard me right. We're going to run through some popular drive throughs to help you find some guilt-free options. Here's something else you don't need to feel guilty about eating. Nuts! We show you how just a handful a day can go a long way in helping you live longer. And while you're pumping up your metabolism, why not also pump up your immune system? We're going to show you some options that will keep the sniffles and sneezes stifled. If you've ever suffered an injury or a life-changing event, you know it can sometimes feel impossible to overcome both physically and mentally. It can also leave you feeling like nobody understands and you're all alone. Now imagine feeling this way as a child. We take you to a special camp that allows burn victims to feel like a kid again. And today we're going to learn about the Delaware Burn Camp, a camp designed specifically for burn victims. Coming up, we'll meet one of the campers and tell you why this camp was started. And we're in the Del Marble Life Kitchen making Capellini Lucia. Not only does this name sound great, it's good for you too. Del Marble Life starts right now. Good afternoon, I'm Lisa Bryant. I'm Jimmy Hopple. Welcome to Delmarva Live from Historic Studio D. If you don't mind, we're going to do a little shameless self-promotion to start the show today. You've heard us talk about the WBOC car that drag races at the US 13 Dragway. Right, right. It's a 1967 Chevelle driven by WBOC employee Laura Landry. Well, this picture of the car is entered in a contest to be on the cover of JEG's catalog. We want you to vote. Yes. All you have to do is go to our website, WBOC.com, click on our picture at the top of the page. We want to see the WBOC car on the cover of the JEG National Magazine. Catalog. That's awesome. It is. So vote early, vote often. Okay, so Saturday, the Ocean Games return to Ocean City. I'd like to introduce you to Corey Davis here. He sustained a traumatic head injury in a 2007 motorcycle accident that left him unable to walk. It was expected that he would be wheelchair bound for the rest of his life. But a team of the Johns Hopkins Brain and Stroke Rehabilitation Program got him back on his feet. He was so grateful that he put together a benefit supporting research and awareness for traumatic brain injuries. Here he is with Ocean City Beach Patrol Captain Butch Arvin. The games include different swimming events. You can still register for the one mile event, by the way, on Saturday. Ocean Games also has stand up paddleboard races, a four mile elite sprint style course and a two mile open course. Last year's event garnered nearly 250 people and close to 200 actual participants and in 2013 raised $22,000 for Johns Hopkins program. Hooray Isn't for them! Incredible? Wow, what Good a great story. It. Here's another great story. We are just a couple of weeks away from seeing local actress Quinn McColgan in her latest movie role. They all die. Then why do you keep so many locks in the drawer? The movie Extinction, Extinction comes out July 31st. McColgan, a soon-to-be eighth grader at Worcester Preparatory School, stars with Matthew Fox and Jeffrey Donovan in the horror movie. Now, McColgan plays the part of Lou, a nine-year-old girl living in the forgotten town of Harmony with Patrick and Jake, the characters played by Fox and Donovan. Extension is just the latest in a string of big screen appearances for McColgan. The Millsboro native also has a role in Love the Coopers, a movie starring Marissa Tomei, Olivia Wilde, and Amanda Seyfried. That'll be released in November. See, we have got so much young talent on this peninsula, we've got to ship it out to everybody else <laughs> just to share some of the wealth. I want to say a quick salute this afternoon to some college grads that are from here on Delmarva. At Virginia Tech from Salisbury, Sarah Siva and Jonathan Soisman from Fruitland, Ross Whitman, Keith Varg of Hebron, and Devin Lamb of Princess Anne all received their Bachelor of Science degrees. That commencement address given by Google executive chairman Eric Schmidt ah. from Lafayette College in Pennsylvania. Matthew Morris of Salisbury graduated cum laude and earned a Bachelor of Science in Geology. Reagan Smith Jr. of Ocean City graduated and earned a Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering. I'm glad you're talking about graduates. Another graduate is traveling with the animals. Sussex Technical High School alumnus Josh Mueller started working with Barnhill Preserve in October. Now for the summer, Barnhill Preserve is making appearances with animals daily up and down the Delaware coast from Rehoboth Beach to Fenway. Island. 
beyond the summer. The company hopes to expand permanently to Delaware by building a facility in the Frankfurt or Roxana area by Memorial Day weekend. That is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. That is something else that's cool. The West Salisbury Intermediate All-Stars looking for a trophy. They won their first two games, 16-1 against St. Mary's, 17-1 against Washington, D.C. That means in their first two games, they won by a margin of 33-2. to Wow. <laughs> Man. Okay, so you've heard the phrase, when pigs fly. Oh, yeah. Okay. How about when cats fly? You see, it all starts with teaching your cat to fly. Step one, fire up the hair dryer. Step two, clear for takeoff. Step three, get the front landing gear off the ground. Step four. <laughs> <laughs> so adorable and that little guy probably burned off some calories and you know staying active is a great way to lose weight. Still ahead on Delmarva Life, this young lady certainly knew how to lose the extra pounds but it just wasn't happening. That is until she said enough is enough. Find out what motivated her to do what it takes to lose 100 pounds plus why her journey is far from over. If you're on a weight loss journey, you may have tried a low carb diet, but it's really hard to give up the bread and the pasta. Turns out you might not have to. We're going to tell you about resistant starches. And we don't want to deprive ourselves of some of the good food you'll find <laughs> right here on Delmarva. Everything in moderation, right? Well, today we head into the Delmarva Life Kitchen to make a healthy pasta dish topped with swordfish. But first, well, a serious burn can change a person's life forever, and the Delaware Burn Camp is looking to give young burn victims a chance to enjoy a week at camp. Coming up, we'll learn why it's providing way more than a week of fun. Delmarva Life will be right back. Delmarva Life is brought to you by Sussex County Federal Credit Union, guiding you to your financial future. Peninsula Regional Medical Center, honored to serve the entire Delmarva Peninsula since 1897 your local York and LG dealers, and State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Delmarva Life is brought to you by Sussex County Federal Credit Union, guiding you to your financial future. Peninsula Regional Medical Center, honored to serve the entire Delmarva Peninsula since 1897. Your local York and LG dealers and State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. <laughs> 